Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, and today I'm going to show you guys how I style my 4C natural hair. Yeah, so I actually start out by applying water to my hair. I'm sure I'm not the only one on this video who applies water to their hair before doing anything because I feel like moisture actually helps you to work on your hair better because when your fussy hair is wet it's easier for you to detangle and walk your way through your hair without actually having any some problem so that is what i'm doing i'm actually putting water on my hair but i've noticed that people actually like to put a little bit of water but i like soaking my hair in water yes i like to do so that it will have a lot of moisture in my hair yeah so i usually massage my hair too after applying the water just to help it blood flow and it has actually been helping because I've noticed ever since I started um, massaging my hair my hair has actually been growing so yeah I'm going on with my leave-in conditioner yes I don't just use only water I actually also use leave-in conditioner on my hair yeah I'm using the mega growth leave-in conditioner yes so this is me being so economical with the living conditioner i don't know if i'm the only one on this table but that thing has to last me month so i'm going to so i'm using a very very small amount so you guys can actually use the amount of living conditioner that you like on your hair but since i've already put water on my hair i just go with um, a little bit of living conditioner not really much but just small amount of living conditioner yeah so i'm going to start combing my hair so I always love to use my white tooth comb because it's easier for me to comb my hair. So I don't really have to put my hair in sections anytime I'm working on my hair. I just use my hair like that without putting it in sections. But if you know your hair is very thick and it's very hard and strong, I prefer. I think you should actually work in sections when combing it so that it will be easier for you. But my hair is actually kind of not too thick is moderate so i don't really have to put in sections and i just go in my white tooth comb on it and it does the work perfectly well without me actually feeling pains on my scalp yes so i feel like you guys should actually go for your white white tooth comb because it does the trick really really well and really good so this is me actually parting my hair. Yes, I'm parting it into two sides. So I'm trying to get a perfect cut. And I don't really think that will work because it's not always working out for me whenever I'm trying to like, get a straight cut. Yeah, but I'm just trying my possible best to make it look straight. So you cut your hair into two halves. Yes. So this is me combing my hair again yes i've divided the hair into two four half so now i'm going to comb it to remove every any form of tangling in it so i'm combing my hair right now so yes i'm going to weave this part Weaving your hair is not really that hard actually. Just take three strands and just move them. 
interlockingly, I guess, then you work your way all down. And as you're actually making your hair, you smooth in your hair as you go so that there will not be any strands that will be out. So as you weave, smooth in, you weave, you smooth in again, yes, so that no hair will be left out and you pick everything because my hair is quite short. So I just don't want anyone to be left out. So I use my hand to smooth it out as I walk my way down. Yeah, I'm true with weaving the first half, so you will just do the exact same thing to the other side, weave it and spot it out as you go. It's exactly what you're going to repeat to the other side. Yeah. Okay, so I did this other side of camera. Yeah, so these are the hair looks. So you can rock your hair looking like this, or you can continue to watch this video and see how I add a little bit of drama to the hair. Yes, I'm not going to leave my hair like that. I don't want to look all plain and all that. I actually just want to add a little bit of pop at the back just to make it look a little bit nice and a little bit good. Yeah, so I'm losing. The tip of the head to um, a specific length so that I would pack the both of them together and put them in a cup. So I'm going to secure the puff with a small rubber band. Yes, all those small rubber bands that you use to start your head. Yes, so you put your head in that way. You can see how it's so nice at the back. Wow, my hair looks so long at the back. Wow. Yeah, then I'm going to use a scrunchie to like secure the end. Make it look more nice. So that's the look, guys. So simple and easy to do. No too much stress, no gel. Just your hair and some rubber bands. So bye. So guys, this is the finished look. Don't forget to like subscribe and comment on this video thank you guys for watching today see ya